Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Your discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of GeoGuessr. Uh, we are doing a mountainous world today, it's a map by Vojiffy. And it feels like Germany based on the old architecture. But we haven't seen any blurs yet, so maybe it's not. Does it feel like low camera? It kind of does, which should put us in the Swiss Alps. Because this isn't very high. Oh god, we're fucked. We're fucked. We don't have your typical EU plates on every car. It definitely feels like low cam. Can't really see the car too well. Somewhere in Switzerland. But where, oh where, in Switzerland are we? I'm not too sure. Uh, we're going to do our best to try to find road signs. Uh, any kind of town name. As we come across Grindelwald Interlaken. Uh, which I guess sounds Swiss. Maybe. But we do have a nice beautiful mountain ranges in the background. It's definitely low camera. And we have the U Umlaut. Which German, Swiss, I think Austrian. So it makes sense to guess kind of where we're guessing. My main concern now is I don't actually know if... There's just mountains near Italy or other places. We do have a flag. Uh, I can't get too much from it. Green, which is not on the Swiss flag. Let's see if we could find out what kind of flag that is. Watch it be the Liechtenstein flag. I don't actually know what that flag is because I've never needed to. And it doesn't look like we're actually going to be able to get a good view on it. So that's kind of lame. I uh, still haven't seen a town name, and if we have, I haven't recognized it. We do have what appears to be a lake, river. This is definitely Swiss. I don't care what anyone fucking says. 100% looks Swiss. We kind of are getting fucked here. I want to go around, but it doesn't look like we can. Looks like we're kind of trapped. So we have a body of water. We have mountains. We have mountains. We have a body of water. Maybe we're near... More Schultz? We're, we're literally... We got nothing. You know, I don't think we'll be able to leave the town and find a town name. I don't think we'll be able to get into the heart of town. That was actually an unblurred, unblurred plate. That's the Swiss flag. B-E. I don't know what B-E stands for. Burn? Maybe near Burn? We're, we're pulling at strings here. And then we have another crest over here. Maybe Frankenkapellen? We're we're literally pulling at strings with the BE going for burn. But hopefully that uh that works out in our favor. Uh and not bad, not great. Current leader obviously guesses a little for further east. So what does the BE stand for? Beatenberg, maybe? There's a lot of BEs when it comes to Switzerland. So going for the biggest one, probably not a bad idea. I don't even know if that's what that stands for. But it looks like it is in the same region. So maybe this region? Let's see, hold on. No, yeah, the Canton of Bern. So it could have been anywhere in this Bern region, I'm guessing. And going by the big city, probably not the worst. It still feels European. Although this time it feels Spanish-Portuguese. That's Greek. Almost Spanish or Portuguese. Almost. Mountains in Greece... Good, good luck finding the specific one we're at. I'm pretty sure most of Greece is a mountain, kind of like Japan. Will that help us? Probably not. We don't actually understand Greek. What a surprise. I don't think many people actually understand Greek, unless you're Greek. Uh, don't smoke. You can cause forest fires. Ikea. I know it's not, but we're just looking for anything that might look similar. And obviously a picture is worth a thousand words, which is why smoking causes forest fires is a pretty, I'm going to say obvious thing on that sign. And you know, what? there's a bunch of trees and a lit cigarette. What are they trying to tell you? I'm pretty sure most people can, can deduct what, you know, what they're trying to say. We do have water to our north. That should be important, which means either A, we're near Sparta. And we, well, the island that has spotter on it. And we're kind of near this body of water. Or we're on a multitude of fucking islands. 
that nobody gives a fuck about, except maybe where Atlantis was, and potentially Crete. Because Crete is, or was, a pretty decent-sized island. I think it is the biggest Greek island, right? It's massive. Does Crete have volcanoes? I'm not too sure. I know it's not the Atlantis island, because that island uh, doesn't really exist anymore. I mean, it's like all islands, right? They just don't really exist anymore. Can we find anything? Obviously, it's Greek, right? So us finding something doesn't actually mean we're going to be able to use it. But I still want to be able to find, I don't know, like a road number. Maybe even the name of the town we're in. So we could at least try and find out where we are. But nah, let's just uh, have Math explore this town for three fucking minutes. And find something that's about forest fires. And probably about putting your trash out on Saturday night. Whenever trash day is here. Uh, but we definitely know it's Greek and that's what's important, right? So, the town name is Vrisis. Okay, uh, it should be with water to the north. That doesn't necessarily mean we're looking in the correct place. But it's better than nothing, right? It's better than nothing. I'm, I'm concerned it's going to end up being an island. That's my concern. And you know what? It probably is, which is going to suck. Because there's no way we're guessing an island. But should we guess an island? Nah, that's not worth it. Uh, this is Atlantis Island, by the way, if you guys didn't know. There's been so many different studies. Uh, and actually, we had a decent guess. It does end up being over closer to Sparta. Uh, I still don't see... See, Stasio. We worked our way into town, and I still don't see it. Here's Rach's. I'm pretty sure we worked our way towards the water. Do we have to zoom in even further? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We would have never found that because of how small that town name is. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive. But we did get a little bit extra... We do have uh, a few extra points here and there. Not bad, not bad. Feels Eastern Europe again. We do have the telephone poles, although they are a little different than I'd expect from uh, Eastern Europe. We do have blue on the license plates. Feels like it could be winter coverage. Except that. That is Turkish. And is 05. Um, so it goes... Two, three, four, five, I believe, is uh, cell phone. So we can't rely on a five in Turkey. However, we can try and find a different phone number and try and use that to our advantage. Uh, I don't know if this is common anywhere else in the world, but whenever I see a very tall, pointy spike tower coming out of like a, a religious thing, uh, I always think of Turkey. I think I've only ever seen them in Turkey, and that might be why. Let's just go in the middle of the country for right now, over by the threes on the area code, and see if we can't find a phone number that might be able to point us in the right direction. That says 231, so 23 should be close to Istanbul, actually. I don't actually know where the mountains are in Turkey. I do know the Turkish like to build on top of mountains, and that's from playing Turkish flag. Uh, I'm looking for any other confirmations for that phone number, just in case, because this is just you know, seven digits. That doesn't really have an area code. And what we're really looking for is the area code, and it looks like we're not going that way anymore. Perfect. All right, back the way we came. Does that have water to our north? I didn't really get a good enough look. I didn't know we were playing a coastal world, guys. I thought this was a mountainous world. But yet, we are seeing the coastline pretty, pretty free. Eh, yeah, no, pretty frequently. I think we saw it in the Greece round. Yeah, no, there was water to our north. What am I talking about? Of course we saw it. So, different phone number. Ten digits would be great. 053. Again, that is the cell phone, so that is not the phone number we want to see. A 046, however, is. Uh, and that puts us out to the east. And with water to our north, there's only a few places we really could be. Uh, my only concern is, what if that truck traveled? So obviously, we're going to keep looking and see if we can't find... It's not that way. Any other town place in here? And it looks like we're kind of limited as to where we can and can't travel. Another 053, not too helpful. Uh, but water to our north. 
pretty decent sized town. Rise, Trabzon, Hopa, Surmene. Uh, it's definitely Eastern though, because it's a 0 4. So hopefully uh, that works out for us. And it ends up being Trabzon. So not a bad guess off of a phone number. Obviously, not the best guess we could have had. But we're still in this. We're fucking still in this. We have a little bit of the back of a car. Definitely Southeast Asia, just based on the trees and the landscape. I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up being Sri Lanka. Although, we really need language to be able to decide that. Worst case scenario, a weird Bhutan. Although, I'm probably leaning more Indonesia, Philippines. Can't tell what side of the road we're driving on since it's a single lane road. I know we're going back to kind of where we were because I'm looking for major road or language and I feel like near the, the houses and everything like that should have a little bit more. Except it doesn't. We do have a nice mountain in the distance. It seems to be to our south. We do have a car pulled over and they're pulled over on the left. Which should mean they drive on the left. It's not for sure, but it should. Red license plates, we're in Bhutan. We're in Bhutan. Can we get any other red license plates? Two? Two first? This is actually fucking weird. Ah, uh, the lowlands of Bhutan. Well, we're not looking for the lowlands. But we, we are in a relatively flat area with some mountains to our south. Not all of Bhutan is covered. You kind of got the middle and a few strings of roads to the south. Maybe this will tell us. Uh, the social school sports meet division B sports for green habits. Okay. Uh, and then obviously the language. And that's a yellow license plate. So maybe we've been unlucky with the red license plates we found. Does it really feel like Bhutan? Not really, but that was English. So the only other option is the Philippines. Does this feel like the Philippines? Not really. Not really. Uh, I guess we just choose a random fucking place, right? Where else do we have to guess? Uh, red license place again. It's It's gotta be Bhutan. If it's not, we just found three different vehicles with red license plates. Obviously, that sounds to me like a pattern. But could people have vanity plates? Of course. If we go this way, we can. Uh, our main goal at this point is to find out what town we're in. And a lot of uh, signs in Bhutan will tell you what town you're in. It's just a matter of finding one of those signs. Uh, there was a flag, by the way. And that's the flag of Bhutan. So, definitely confirmed it. I know we kind of had the inkling that we were there. I mean, our guess is there. Now it just comes down to, do we get a decent guess off in Bhutan? Probably not. Uh, but we're middle of the country, so we're minimizing damage. And it ends up being south. Over by Gilepu. Hope I pronounced that right. Not much we could do about it. Uh, I didn't see town names. Uh, but we do have an extra 100 points. Nah, 80 points over the current leader. I think we have them by 100 points right now. Uh, Italy, maybe. Maybe. Greek again. Greek again. All right. I was going off of Italy based on the trees and the landscape, but obviously you win some, you lose some. Greece is still general area of Italy, especially latitude. So Mediterranean always feels Mediterranean. Uh, I haven't seen water yet this round, and we didn't see water last round. So maybe, maybe not necessarily an island. Uh, we are going to look for any kind of town name that might help us. Sparta would be great, although I don't think it's going to be Sparta. We do have, I'm going to say a regional flag. And it reminds me of the German double eagle. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe, I know I always want to guess Sparta. Maybe Sparta because they're warriors. Wanted, I don't know, a double eagle. I'm trying to, I'm trying here, guys, all right? We have a chance to win. That doesn't happen too often. Athens is 210 kilometers away. Here's Athens. Uh, yeah, no, that's Athens. Uh, maybe it's not. 
210 kilometers away. It looks like it's saying it's to our south. Let's keep following the sign. We might be able to find like a highway. Post office for Taxu P. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. We're going to pretend that I read that correctly. If we keep following this road, we should hit a highway according to that sign that said Athens was 210 kilometers. We just hope we're, I don't know, going the right fucking way. Uh, hospital, health center. Is this the health center? North Caniopia and then South Canaria. With what is what do you know? Uh, fucking coastline. We're screwed. We are screwed. All right. If Athens is 210 kilometers away, we don't know what distance. We just know we're 210 kilometers away from Athens. I'm feeling like it's going to be southeast. That makes sense to me based on the way the sign was located. We are entering a larger road, which means it should be opening up to maybe be a two-lane road. We have something. How similar is Greek Cyrillic? Argos and Tripoli. All right. So here's Athens. We need to find these two. Here's Tripoli. Where's Argos? Fuck. That should be to our north. Should we be south? Lacos Beach. We don't have time to move it. And I kind of just panicked. So. And it ends up being further south. Ah, oh, but we do end up winning off of that. We do end up winning. So, closer to Sparta again. What a surprise. Uh, if we would have gone closer to Tripoli, which is what it looks like you guys did, which means you found that same sign, uh, to minimize damage, not bad. Uh, 23, 645. Two in Greece, one in Turkey. I know I... I make fun of mappers map diverse world for not being so diverse but not so diverse guys not so diverse uh we end up beating bow at 23 440 very good game very close game only 200 points uh rum not getting the correct spot of turkey so maybe you didn't find phone numbers like we did E chandler in fourth same thing same wrong spot of turkey linus going with thailand instead of bhutan which was our second option well, Philippines was, but... And then, hmm, 59. Going with Italy for one of the Greece rounds and the wrong spot of Turkey. So I hope that the Turkey phone numbers work, right? So just in case you haven't seen the video, it's like twos are to the... Over this general area. Threes are the middle and fours are the east. And that's the only reason we were kind of able to get the correct spot we were able to get. Ah, uh, but that's going to be where we call it. We do have another video coming out. It will be out in about two hours. It's the Diverse World Pro League. Uh, feel free to watch it if you don't want to watch it. By all means, you don't have to. It's a little bit of a longer one as it's, I believe, a five-minute time limit. Uh, but until then, guys, enjoy the two hours you have off or the rest of your day. And I'll see you all on Monday for another episode, unless you guys are watching the Pro League. In which case, ignore what I just said. But until then, enjoy the rest of your day, and bye-bye.